Hello, this is McCook's Mr. Bill. Out picking some red hot peppers. Yeah, you got to do it with gloves on. If you don't, you'll pay the price of having your eyes get touched sooner or later, and you'll be blind as a bat for about 15 minutes in excruciating pain, I kid you not. But I pick them and dry them down and make a pepper spray out of them. Each one is worth about a $120 bill. I said a $120 bill. But you're here for a story. Okay. This last week they had a shooting. A crazy took a rifle and killed a cop and wounded another one. Now it happens every once in a while, but they needed a, a different diversion from what's going on on the other side of the world. And so they used this to keep us occupied and saying how terrible that man was for doing that. And they lumped him in with a, a group. He, they said he was a survivalist. Well, couldn't be further from the truth. I've been a self-professing survivalist since 1971. That's right. And what is a survivalist? Well, I ought to know then, shouldn't I? A survivalist is somebody that doesn't jump from firefight to firefight. Because... You just don't survive that long. A firefight, any kind of shooting, is not like the Rambo movies, I'm here to tell you. It just ain't that way. Now I want to keep you safe, but I want you to understand what a survivalist is. A survivalist is not somebody that goes looking for trouble. A survivalist is not someone that goes where there is trouble. And if he happens to find himself in trouble, he turns around and he walks away. Runs away if you have to. And, of course, if he's cornered, no way out, he talks his way out, if at all possible, and if that don't work, and there's going to be a fight, he doesn't grab a gun first, hardly. He'll have tear gas or perhaps pepper spray that I make. And that automatically means that whatever the bully's trying to do to you or going to do to you, he's got to do it blind. I said blind. And if there's two or three of them, there's plenty in a pepper spray to put them all down, make them all blind, and make them sucking wind trying to breathe. And you've got 15 minutes to get out of the area then, or abuse them something violent if you so desire. But I would advise you simply to leave the area. Pepper spray, a nonviolent way to defend yourself without a gun. But for those of you who are so angry with the United States government, and now most of us don't trust the government anymore, and they shouldn't be trusted. But for those of you so angry that you consider violence, I would like you to go a different direction. Because the results you want with your shooting doesn't help any of us with firearms or with this genre. You only harm the rest of us. You only help them have an excuse to add more laws to enslave us more. If you really want to help, hang on to the rights that you have and perhaps get some rights back. What you have to do is vote. Nebraska, it's vote harvesting time, midterm elections, from the governor on down to school boards. A good time to get your voice heard, not just at the ballot box, but tell them yourself, nose to nose. Or at least send letters and emails. Don't be mean, but simply make your point known. Make your point known. Your vote has a lot more power with a lot less negative than a bullet will, I'm here to tell you. And we don't want you in jail or prison. We'll need you the day after. This is McCook's Mr. Bill explaining to you what a survivalist is and what it isn't. Rate this film. That was 75 feet, so it still reaches out there and can clunk something pretty good. Take small game or what have you.